Today is all about diving into the App Store and checking out the newly launched games. There's a lot of new titles that have recently hit the App Store, and we need to decide if they're worth playing or not. First on the list is Blood Strike. This is one of the newest shooter style games that hit the scene. This is one with a much smaller name than something like a Call of Duty or a PUBG Mobile, and it only has 10 million downloads with 4.6 stars, yet it has a really big following. Players seem to love this game, maybe because it's something different from the norm that everyone's used to playing. This is a game that I would recommend you try if you're looking for something that is new and not just the same old. Sometimes it's good to spice things up and have a new experience, especially with shooters that have been around for forever. Solo Leveling Arise is coming. This one's available for pre-register and it's brought to us by Netmarble. To be fair, there is not much to be said about this title except for the dark theme that it seems to have. It looks like something that is interesting to play for sure. I'm unsure of the gameplay style besides it being an action game and would be curious to give it a shot. With that being said, I don't know if it's going to be good or bad. MMS Idol, Monster Market Story. We're looking at another bullet hell style survival game. There are so many of these on the scene and it seems like more and more just keep on coming out, trying to take advantage of a genre that's become very popular. The issue is all of the games seem very, very similar, just with different weapons and a different character leading the charge. With that being said, this one actually has some decent graphics and is one that if you're a fan of the genre, you could probably try. Now here is a must play game. AFK Journey, just out a few days, already has 1 million downloads and is ranked with 4.8 stars. If you ever played AFK Arena, you'd be very familiar with both the characters you encounter inside of this game and the general gameplay style, except for this one implements some open world exploration elements that allows you to get a little bit more lore, story, and excitement out of the game. This game is going to be big, and it's going to be around for a while. The graphics are very similar to what we knew from AFK Arena, but definitely bumped up a notch. And the management element of the game is a lot of fun as you prepare all of your heroes for the battles that they have ahead. I know that this one is not new to the channel, but it's on the list and I have to share it. It's Bro Royale Mayhem Shooter that takes you back to the 80s and 90s with characters that we all know and love like Rocky Balboa, Mr. T, and so on. And they take it into a Battle Royale comical style shooter. It's got 100,000 downloads with four stars and it's one that I would highly recommend. Three Kingdoms Dynasty Archers, or newer title with 50,000 downloads and 4.6 stars. As you can see, this one is in the vertical format. Here, you're gonna have to get into these little types of battles against bosses in a very simplistic style game. It's not something that is really in depth, but sometimes that's something that's desirable inside of a mobile game. Here, you're gonna take on different stages with different enemies, sometimes multiple, and just try and make your way through one to the next. I think the game is okay, nothing to write home about, and honestly, it's probably not one that I would recommend. Lost Future Zombie Survival. With 500,000 downloads and 4.3 stars, we're looking at another Kingdom Builder style survival game. Here, you're gonna have to put together or recreate your realm and protect it from others, as well as the undead. So a little bit of a state of survival theme with a little bit more of a survival style game element to it. If you like the genre, this is something you may enjoy. For me, I would have to pass just because I'm a little bit tired of the genre in general. But if you're new to it or looking for a zombie style survival game that has Kingdom Builder elements, you can give this one a shot. I won't be playing. War Sniper FPS shooting game with 500,000 downloads and 4.9 stars. Now we've seen a lot of these tactical style shooting games lately, tank based, ship based, airplane based games. And they all basically do the same thing. It's a genre that has not really been tapped into, but now we've been seeing quite a bit more of it. If you like tactical style, army style shooters and you like mechs as well, meaning tanks, etc. This could be a fun title. Fairy Tale Fierce Fight has 100,000 downloads and 4.5 stars. 
And inside of this anime themed fighting style action game, you're gonna be doing exactly that, taking your character into battles that can be enjoyable as you go against larger hordes of enemies and bigger bosses that are gonna get in your way. I particularly like the art style inside of this game. It's a little bit cartoony, a lot anime. I would play it. Now let's talk about basic and simple. Survivor Z zombie games with a million downloads and 4.4 stars. This just shows that a lot of people do enjoy a very simplistic mobile game, something that does not have a lot of depth, and that's something that can be appreciated here on the scene. This is just a shooter bullet storm action style game with very simplistic elements and graphics that are even simpler. Although it looks pretty cheesy, it actually looks kind of addicting and I'd probably play it. But the real question is, do you agree with my recommendations? Let me know in the comments section below and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on tomorrow's top 10 video.